Um, I'll just like to tell you guys, welcome to Rainforest Adventures and thank you for choosing Shelson's airline. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Now right about now, I'd just like you guys to just hold on to your belongings because we don't want anything falling down to the forest floor. If that happens, it's going to become one with the forest and that is pretty messed up. Yeah, pretty messed up. So please hold on to your belongings. Just saying. Now as we go higher up, there's going to be a lot of leaves really, really close to us, branches as well. We don't want anybody touching that. That might be messed up. Might cause an allergic reaction and might mess you up. Okay. So right about now, I'll be giving a lot of information, but I'm going to be giving breaks from here and there just to allow you guys to enjoy the forest as we go along. So now I could actually say welcome to the rainforest because we've just entered the rainforest itself. Yeah. Now we've entered the rainforest and the rainforest could be located in a community called Babanu and in this area we call it Shase Babanu. Shase meaning to search and explore and Babanu also means ridge of good water mm. because of how amazing the water source is. Now since Babanu means that, here in this rainforest there's what we call a water catchment that has, in, that has been providing the community of Babanu with fresh drinking water since the 1960s. Up until a really long time ago, about 1979, around thereabout, we got what we call the John Compton Dam that was built. That is now providing the community of Cap, um, you would say Castries, along with the west and east coast yep. around there. Now, with that being said, this entire area, 1,250 acres of land, is being protected by law. So we cannot just come in here and just do what we like. So since this is what we call the rainforest and it's protected by law, along with five layers or five stratas of a rainforest if an area does not have that along with some characteristics then it cannot be classified as a rainforest cannot that is that is wow now with that being said that the lower layer or the first one we have uh, the river there's the forest floor there's the understory the canopy and what we call the emergent layer now the thing is here in this rainforest we do not have rivers but we do have what we call streamlets brooks and creeks now with that being said those streamlets brooks and creeks are now going down to one of our 37 rivers here on island down to the Mackie river and that is a really cool one now with that within this river you could find some crustaceans you could get some salamanders crayfishes crawfishes and you could get some in some cases you might see some small little insi bitsy fishes swimming here and there now that's what, yeah now as we go up to what we call the, the forest floor the forest floor has what we call the highest rate of decomposition because it gets about i would say around two percent of sunlight mm -hmm. now down to the bottom of the forest floor you're going to be seeing a lot of larger leaves than usual as we go higher up because since it gets two percent of sunlight then the lights would start peeking through the dense top and then that little bit of sunlight the larger leaves would then be catching it or picking it up now with that being said if you look down to your bottom left you're going to be seeing those large banana like leaves right there and higher up as well these are what we call heliconias mm. so there are over 500 species of heliconias worldwide and there are 35 here on island and out of that 35 there's two of them that are what we call native to us now the two that are native there's the heliconia caribe and the heliconia beehive now to differentiate between the two of them the beehive has more of a wider spread black system than the caribe itself and uh, well you can see a black system could also be called what we say modified leaf now that modified leaf is for only one animal on the planet and heliconias could also be called champagne glass of the hummingbirds mm. now hummingbirds are the sole pollinators of heliconias meaning they are the only animals in the world to pollinate heliconias mm. no other animal can there are three types of hummingbirds there's the purple throated the green throated and what we call the antillian crested. If you look to your left in this area over there, you can see there are some vines 
on the well sharing at least two to three trees right here mm. this is also characteristic of a rainforest to have vines and lianas intertwined within the canopy what we call wild chestnut mm. for me got its name because of its sap when you cut the sap or well, you tap the tree and you collect the sap it has this gum like feel to it so we tend to call it gourmet now up here they're really massive and they're the tallest trees you could find here in this rainforest reaching around a hundred and something meters now right about now i usually tell you guys you know, take out your cell phone take out your smartphones your cameras whatever you feel like just to capture this moment but please hold on to your belongings because you know what will happen yeah. <laughs> just say it now we're about to see one of the highlights of this tour, other than me speaking, straight ahead of us. We're about to hit a peak height on this gondola of about 1,500 feet above sea level or 120 feet above the forest floor. Yes, yes. And here you go. It's on a really, really clear day. We get to see Martinique, which is 21 miles ahead of us. But at this point in time, it's not clear. It's yeah, pretty cloudy yeah. and uh, you know yeah. it's kind of showers here and there not a problem wow yeah now the entire area that we're seeing this community is chasse babano in its entirety looking lovely as ever we have the caribbean sea to our left and the atlantic ocean to our right oh, yeah. now with that being said uh, the view that you're seeing this view is what i love to call 50 shades of green <laughs> amazing stuff now here since Castri is at our capital of St. Lucia, mm -hmm. from Castri, mm -hmm. around 64 kilo miles north, yeah. you would get Martinique's airport. Okay. Yep, yep, from Castri Central or the Castries again, okay. heading down south around 30 kilo miles, you would yeah. get Beaufort, okay. which we house is our largest airport, yeah. Euronora International Airport, yeah. lovely stuff. From Castri is about, you could say, a few miles from Castri on to north you would get our airport the vg airport mm. pretty nice where it holds small aircrafts not problem yeah. at this point in time pretty nice Look at that. Actually, we fight up to 80% of our surrounding earth. 